Hi everybody, it's Annika Van Buren from Tampa, Florida, your glamorous granny. And it's Thursday, so if you haven't joined us before, I've been mixing up some different cocktails from around the world this last few weeks. I started with the top cocktails in the whole world. And some you would expect, like Martini, Manhattan, Margarita, Bellini's, we haven't done yet. Um, but the top cocktail in the whole world was a Negroni. And it's been interesting because as I've gone out to dine lately, which I don't do a lot, but um, last week after I got my hair done, it was an all day ordeal, as you can imagine. I stopped in one of our favorite restaurants in this area. There, everything's chain, but this one is not. It's a family restaurant called Esposito's, and they have fairly nice Italian food. And I ordered a Negroni, and the bartender was so excited to make a Negroni because it is an Italian cocktail. But anyway, today I'm making one. I don't know where it came from. I should have looked. I'm derelict in my duty today. I'm making a gin gimlet. Now you could also do it with vodka, and I've done both, but today we're gonna to do it with gin. So I'm gonna use my base sapphire because it's what I have. I'm gonna use two of these. And then I'm going to use the short side of the stainless steel jigger for the roses lime juice. Now I'm experimenting here because I haven't made one of these in a long time. So this may call for a back and forth. I don't know. So in the meantime, while I'm shaking this up, You're probably wondering how did her hair grow overnight? It's the miracle of modern technology that in hair salons. Believe me when I tell you things are very different than they used to be. Now, most of you that watch here are guys, but if you haven't noticed, most of the creators that are on YouTube or Instagram or Twitter or TikTok, have long hair. I mean, really long hair. Let me turn around. Just like that. Mm -hmm. And how do they do that? Well, some of them have grown really long hair. And some of them, like me, have added it in. Well, how do we do that? There's a whole variety of ways. You can pour a little bit just to see how it tastes. I'm gonna add a little more lime juice because it's still on the bitter side. Now, the difference is if you'd used a vodka, it wouldn't be bitter. It's the gin and the juniper berries. And did you know that when the Roman Empire was at its full throttle, they prepared the Roman soldiers for battle by giving them juniper berries. Why? Because the juniper berries made them more aggressive. And guess what gin is made of? Mm-hmm, juniper berries. I happen to be one of those people that I best just better have one or two of these and that's it. Because this sweet granny that you see here gets a little mean with gin. So usually I would make this with vodka. So yeah. Well, people that drink too much, their personalities change anyway. Why is that? Alcohol's a right brain inhibitor. And our right brain controls our inhibitions. And so when you 
fluids that we want to alcohol, those inhibitions go right out the window. And that's why there's old old saying that you can never reason with a drunk. And part of that reason is that the brain starts to operate in brainstem, which is more fight or flight. If you're operating up here with frontal lobe, you have reasoning and logic. So the next time somebody I you know gets out of control, just put them in a cab and send them home if you can. <laughs> Don't try and provoke a bar fight. So once again, moderation. Let's see if this is any better. Yes, much. But honestly, I think I would like this with vodka more. But this is a classic drink, the Gimlet. I used two parts of gin. It's like a lime martini that's sweet. So as with all martinis, you're drinking pretty much straight stuff. So you need to be careful. So, let me tell you about all the different types of hair, if you're interested. I'm going to move this camera up here like this. These clip in. You section your hair off, tease it a little, and then you put the clips right in the spot where you teased it. And then you go up a little bit higher and you put it on this row of hair. Beautiful virgin hair. I know, I don't say a thing. Um, and then you can put two or three more rows at the back of your head. I only really needed two with this, with that long length. And then there's another row of clips right here and another row of clips right here that just brings us down like this. I can also pull it back and I can make a ponytail out of it. I can do all kinds of things. Now, that's the clip-in type. There's also a type where they go in and put a piece of hair, human hair, and it has a little bead on the end of it and it attaches to a strand of your own hair. And they do that in several places around your head. I have done that. All it ever did for me was to break off my hair. And then there's another strip that they go in and they glue it to your head. And like every five or six weeks, you have to go in, they have to remove the glue part and then they have to put more on. Another pain in the neck. And then there's another type. It's a band of hair and it's all woven into a weft. And then they sew it in your head. So those last three that I mentioned, you can't take out. So you saw me Monday with my hair all up. Well, actually, I think I just pulled it back in a little ponytail. I didn't have these in. So this is the least damaged and the most versatile. And my hair salon colored them to match my own hair. And I was there all day, but I love them. So I'm just wearing uh, a lime green dress to go with my lime martini. And if I turn around and you can see the back again, it's a halter. So it goes down low in the back. And it's slid up the side, but not very high. And I have on these gold mules that I wore the other day thought this would go well. So one more thing before I go. I'm making a transition to a little bit different way of eating. Um, I've been doing low carbs for almost four years now. Was doing keto and I switched over for that so there's more carbohydrates in my diet than there was but I want to do something healthier. Um, some of the causes of major diseases our inflammation and the diets that we have just cause more one of the things it causes it is alcohol so one drink a day for women two drinks for men 
So I'm switching to the Mediterranean style of eating, preparing my food. And I have a new book coming by Lydia, you know, for Lydia of New York City. And I don't know what's going to happen. When I have carbs, this is what you see. More belly, more hip. Um, so I have been eating more, and that's what's happened. So we'll see. You get to watch each week. And I tell you what, I haven't weighed myself today, so I don't know where I am. I would say 172. I was down to 163. That was a little too skinny for me. So um, we'll make Thursdays a benchmark. I'll let you know how I'm doing. One of the things I love about all of this, though, I used to be a really good cook. And years ago, when my ex and I lived in New Hampshire, every day, every afternoon, I watched Julia Child, <coughs> the French chef. And I learned how to really cook, how to dice, and chop, and make sauces, and make stocks, and do complicated recipes. I never had one that was anything but excellent. Was it a lot of work? Yes. I was a stay-at-home mom that taught a few piano lessons in my home. So I had the time. And what was really funny about all of this is my husband would come home and he'd say, oh no, French food again? <laughs> I would au gratin every vegetable that we owned. So, and then he started to travel for business and then he realized that the meals that he was having at home were very good. Well then, I divorced. I'm living as a single woman, and I couldn't cook like that every day because it was just, it was too much, you know, and I got away from it. And like anything else that you're good at, if you don't keep doing it, you lose your chops. If you play the piano and you don't practice, you lose them. You know, anything that's a skill, you need to keep doing it. So I've been trying to get my chops back in the kitchen and have more friends over I have a weekend guest this weekend, and we're going to go full tilt Mediterranean. Um, and he needs to do that because he has a health condition that inflammation makes worse. So I'm going to give it a try. So you can just be watching here and see. I'm still going to be doing weights. I'm still going to be doing yoga. I'm going to have to walk at the gym because it is so hot and humid here, and it is not good for me to be out in 95 degree heat with 95% humidity with asthma. So stay in touch. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And once you've subscribed, touch that little bell. And that will send you a notification every time a new post goes up. I'll have the recipe in the description below and a little mention of my OnlyFans page. I hope you'll go there, and I hope you enjoyed this gimlet with me. Try it yourself. Try it with vodka, too. Have a lovely weekend. Namaste.